You see, guys, sometimes in life you have to go with the words. And when you go with the words, you can overcome anything. And the reason for that is because you can say it. And now when you can say things that helps you to grow, then your mind's going to believe it. Okay, so your mind's going to believe what you say. What you say is true. So if you say you're going to go kill people and you're going to go kill people and you're going to go kill people, I promise you, if you keep repeating this statement in your mind and then you say you, you're, you're killing people today, you're killing people today, you're killing people today, then you're affirming to yourself to kill people. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is that if, you're, if you keep saying that kind of stuff, then eventually you're going to take action upon it. Okay, so the thing is that I'm not gonna never I'm never going to kill people, okay? <clears throat> but what you say goes. So you have to realize that when you're faced off in a difficult situation in life when you have a life perspective, you have a life perspective, you're trying to grow yourself, you're trying to do the best you can, but somehow life is not going the way you want it to go because somehow you're, you're falling into bad habits, you're living in a hotel, or you're, you, you, your life is just not going in a direction that you want it to go in. So what you need to realize in this moment is that life doesn't always go your direction, okay? You have to understand that life is beautiful to have, okay? It's a beautiful thing to remark upon a beautiful life for yourself and other people okay you, you just have to realize that you need to be in a situation where your life is what you make of it <clears throat> so so when you make life a steady progress where you're trying to do the best you can okay that's the thing that matters. You have to understand what matters is your moment right now. So if you can always encourage yourself to every single day to grow, to stay away from the things that are hurting you, then you're going to feel better about yourself. You're going to feel much more calm. You're going to have much more peace that you're going to live a great life, for example. So <clears throat> there's a guy out there and a woman who, let's say, doesn't have much, but they have enough, although they want to be in a better place in life, but their life is not going the same way or in that perspective of mine where they want to do better, but somehow something is dragging them to keep smoking cigarettes and to keep drinking caffeine. You understand? Because the thing is that their emotions are trying to override them. And they have lost control. They've lost control of themselves in a way that they feel that they are no longer in control of their cravings, that they're no longer in control of helping themselves in a way that <clears throat> they need to. Because the cigarette craving is always coming back. The caffeine is making them have less energy and it's making them try to be normal in the moment. So they're doing that stuff because they feel normal once they do it. So they're trying to get back to a normal state every single day. But the thing is that they're just getting worse and worse and worse and worse every single day. The more they drink caffeine and the more they smoke cigarettes. <coughs> And that's killing them inside. You understand? That's killing them inside because they're dying. And because when you're dying, it's not a great life when you're dying. You understand? When you're growing, though, you understand that when you, everything's going the best way possible for you, for example, then all that's left is just overcoming, is just achieving your dreams. And that's it. It's maintaining that discipline every single day to understand that there's a better way always to do what you need to do, to get to where you need to go, to walk how much you need to walk, and to make sure that every single day you're just helping yourself to overcome your obstacles. <clears throat> so the reason they don't quit smoking 
And the reason they don't quit caffeine for good is because they're overrided with emotions and they're, fe they're, they're fearing their own emotions. They're fearing how life is going to be without that stuff. You understand? So the thing is that what they need to learn is to be more present in the moment. Okay? When they're present in the moment, you have to realize that they need to overcome those obstacles in the moment and not in the future and not in the past. You are not your past habits. You are not your past experiences. You're not your future experiences and you're nothing in this moment either. All that you are is something that you can't describe. Okay? <coughs> So you have to get to a steady place in life. You have to become so calm in yourself. So there, there is someone out there who was at the peak of their life, okay, they were at the peak of their life, but they didn't quite see exactly where they were at, okay? They didn't quite see how exactly it feels to be at the peak of your life and then come down in frequency from that peak. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is that, because this person took necessary action, and not necessary action, but they took action to kill themselves in a way that they're killing themselves slowly with caffeine and nicotine. And they're just not in the best place right now. They're not in the best, best place physically. They're not exercising. They're not eating vegan food, for example, as much. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is that they're just lost they're lost but they're also confused you know they're confused and lost but they know and they see how to get to a better stage in life they see exactly how to do it but they're afraid to do it you know saying they're afraid <clears throat> because they, they're afraid of their emotions they're afraid of their themselves in terms of life they're afraid of their own emotions they're not afraid of themselves, they're afraid of their emotions and how shit they're going to feel once they quit smoking and, and once they quit caffeine. But the thing is that once they quit that stuff, they're going to feel much more good long term than shit. I promise you in the short term they may feel like shit, you understand? But in the long term they're going to feel so much better, they're going to love themselves more and then people are going to see that people are going to be able to much better understand you for example so the thing is that you have to always describe things in life that are helping you to grow you understand you have to every single day understand that there's a way out yes and there's a way out into the world that is inside of you you understand so let nothing prevent you from getting the goals that you want let nothing prevent you from the person you want to be and now that's the thing about individuals and everyone in life that people love psychology <clears throat> i love psychology and i love philosophy so much that i'll read anything to just get myself across in or into a better manner and since so i read all types of material because I understand that it helps me to think. It helps me to overcome my obstacles. It helps me to find a new way. It gives me ideas about something I've never heard before, something I've never experienced before. So I love to hear people's experiences. So, for example, if you are someone who, are, who is listening to this audio program and I'm still alive, please write in my YouTube channel something where I can see it so that you guys can understand that you guys can send me a message or anything like that about your experiences in life about what you've been through and about what you've learned from your experiences so that i can learn as well so that i can connect with you and so that we can both help each other to grow and stuff like that so <clears throat> that's the thing people are struggling and people are struggling so much and it's not even funny anymore how life is getting expensive okay food's getting expensive petrol's getting expensive everything's getting expensive i promise you, everything's getting expensive and people need to learn to detach from expensive okay people need to be able to learn that there is enough in the world for you and everything that you need 
But what you don't need is pleasure. You don't need pleasure. You don't need to pleasurize yourself. You don't need to masturbate. You don't need to watch pornography. You don't need to do that stuff. You don't need to smoke cigarettes. You don't need to drink caffeine. You don't need to eat meat. But you have to realize <clears throat> that I finally found my place in life, in spirituality, in terms of my confidence. And now people are trying to break my confidence, okay? They're trying to break the person I am. But you can never break the person I am because I'm so smart that you can never get to me in terms of life. You can only grow me. And if you don't grow me, then you're going to kill me. And so the thing is that I understand that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You understand? But the thing is, every single day, understand that there is a better life out there for you and everyone. And you just have to help people to get to that stage. You understand? So there are always other ways to do it. So you can go online. You can go in front of people. You can go in your journal. You can go and make whatever you want in terms of music or anything in life you can make. And you can just give people your experience, you understand? So that's the thing about everything that you need to be and whatever you need to achieve. You have to understand there is always a certain way to do it. And you just have to be so focused in life to achieve it.